Welcome back to my channel. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have noticed that I've been abroad for the past month. I just got back from a month-long trip. I spent two weeks in South Korea and two weeks in Japan. I was with two of my best friends and one of my cousins and I had, as you can imagine, like the best month of my life. It was amazing. Because some people have already asked, no, there will not be a vlog from my trip. And I don't really feel like I need, I have to explain myself, but long story short, I really took that time as a true vacation. I did not scroll on social media my entire trip. I did not scroll on TikTok once, which is crazy. My full-time job was in social media and also did my own social media on the side. And so social media is just like my entire life, like 60 hours a week, it's all I do. And so having just a vacation where I wasn't on social media, wasn't focused on creating content, wasn't doing any, anything of that, was just so amazing. And I just feel so refreshed and ready to get back and make YouTube videos and stuff. So yes, there will unfortunately not be any vlog from that trip I did just take, but in the future, I do hope to make more travel content. So hopefully I can travel more soon. But of course, I did shop a little bit, you know, as I do. And I'm really excited to, sh to show you some of the items that I bought in both Korea and Japan. This haul, I'm mostly sticking to clothes and some accessories. I'm not showing you like souvenirs or like knickknacks. I'm blind boxes, mostly just like clothes because I bought so much stuff. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna do Korea first just because I was in Korea first. And the first thing I got is this awesome moto jacket. It's like a cropped leather, faux leather. Um, like kind of moat biker jacket. I got this at just one of those street stores in Hongdae. I don't know what it was called. The tag says bustling. These are so popular right now, but especially in Korea. Like I saw so many people wearing like mo motorcycle type jackets. I feel very cool wearing this. This next item is from this really popular Korean brand right now. They're called Mischief but I just got this cropped tee from them with like their logo on it. My friend and my cousin also bought the same shirt, so we all have this matching crop shirt. But I just thought it was cute and I needed another like basic kind of crop tee to wear. I think this was like 28 US dollars, but this brand has so much cool stuff. My friend bought a bag from them that's really cool. And I just saw a lot of cool girls in Seoul wearing mischief and everyone who worked at the flagship store was really cool and hot and tattooed, so. I was definitely influenced. This next item I am very, very excited about. I was in a vintage store in Sinsadong, I think. I don't know what the vintage store is called. It was just a store that said like vintage items down here and I went in the basement. It was a vintage store that had a bunch of designer and I found these Issei Miyake pants for about a hundred dollars, a hundred US dollars, which is pretty good because I think these go for like three something. Um, and they're the ple pleats please. They fit me perfectly at the waist, so I was so excited that they had them. Um, I've been wanting a pair of Issei pants for a while, but was waiting to find them at the right price, and they had this in my exact size, and they're just like a really nice like pull-on pant that's very classy. This next item is one of my favorite things I bought on this trip, and when I got back from my trip, I was scrolling on TikTok, catching up like on all the videos and trends I've missed and I realized a lot of people are buying shorts like this right now so I was like oh well there you go I just fit right into the trend even though I I have a lot of these type of shorts um I don't like short shorts but they're like these um really long shorts they kind of go above my knee and they're like trouser style I got them from a store called eight seconds in Korea and these are just awesome they fit me perfectly good quality um, I wore these so many times on my trip. I love these and you'll probably see me wearing this a lot in this upcoming spring and summer. Another thing I bought in Seoul, I did a lot of shopping in Seoul. I actually only bought a few things in Japan, um, unfortunately, but I did a lot of shopping in Seoul. I got this like blazer dress from a store in Hongdae. I don't know what it's called. I'm so sorry. It's just one of those stores where like you're walking down the street and they have, there's so many stores in Hongdae. The brand says 
Are you hot? I wanted an outfit to wear to the TXT concert that I went to in Seoul and I saw this and I thought it would be such a cute little K-pop concert outfit. Just a little blazer dress. So I did wear this to the TXT concert and thought it was very cute. Okay, these next items are for all my stays. So if you're a stay, you know this. If you're not, I'll explain it to you. But my one of my favorite K-pop groups is called Stray Kids and they have this brand partnership with this Korean brand called Maha Grid. They're like ambassadors for the brand. So they're in some of their like promotional photo shoots and um, they wear the Maha Grid clothes. And you know, I'm very easily influenced when it comes to what my K-pop biases wear. I, I will buy anything almost uh, that they wear. So. I don't like ordering Maha Grid when I'm in the US because the shipping is very expensive, but in Korea, obviously they sell Maha Grid there. So I did buy a few things and I'll show you what I got. This is the life of a K-pop stan. This is, you know. So the first item I got from Maha Grid, and I bought all these items at A-Land, by the way. First thing I got is this vest, this Maha Grid vest. I love this. I got a size medium and this is just the best. Um, Jongin wears this in the promotional photos, so you know I had to get it, and I just think it's so cute. I'm a big fan of like sweater vests, and it's really soft, and I like the print. I don't have a white sweater vest yet, so that's why I got this one. Love it. I think it's so cute. Um, love. The second item from Maha Grid that I got is this just like sweater that says Maha Grid. My only issue with this is that it is a little, a little scratchy, the material. For something at this price, I would have hoped it would have been a little more soft, but well, I got it anyways. And my friend Zoe got the white one, so we matched. And I thought that was very cute, so I really wanted to match her, so that's why I bought this. I am obsessed with this shirt. This is a shirt Chongbin wears in the promotional photos. It's like a waffle knit um long sleeve like i got a size large because i like it to fit oversized and it has flames on the sleeve it's so comfortable it's so soft the waffle is just amazing i really really love this material i wore this so many times on my trip i love this this might have been my favorite maha grid purchase it was a little bit pricier i think it was like 80 bucks us dollars i think i don't really remember Something like that, like 70, 80. It's worth it, because this is like my favorite shirt right now. I love this shirt, so. I'm looking at my pile of clothes and I realized I only bought two items in Japan, which is crazy. Japan was my second half of my trip. So when I was in Korea, I was like spendy, because I, you know, I had all this money and I was like, all right, let's go and buy this, this, this. And by the time I got to Japan, I was like, oh, a lot of my money's gone. So I think I could just really slow down spending when I got to Japan, unfortunately. So that just means I have to go back and shop again. But I did get a couple things and I'll show you them. The first thing I got was <laughs> is this Harley Davidson shirt. I got it from a vintage store in Shimokita and it it just, you know, spoke my name. It said Har it says Harley Davidson. I think it was like, this was like $60, which is kind of expensive. But it, this was also one of those nights where I was wearing like a dress and then it started getting cold at night. And I was like, I need to buy a shirt to put on over my dress because I'm getting a little chilly. So I, that's... Half the reason why I bought this is because I wanted a shirt to put on right then and there. What really spoke to me about this shirt is the back. It says Knights of the Open Road and there's dragons. That's what really spoke to me because you know me, I love fantasy, I love dragons, I love swords and shit and knights. And so that just, that really sold me. I said, let me get this $60 Harley Davidson shirt. And then this purchase, I am so, so, so so over the moon about i'm so happy i bought these pants they're just like these r long super wide leg pleated trousers um the brand is louis louis l-u-i-s and they're a japanese brand we were shopping in this mall and i came across the louis x store um they have like yoji yamamoto pieces and this brand louis and like some other brands and this these pants were on one of the mannequins and I was just like, I need those pants. I went up to the sales associate and I said, can I please try on those pants? And so she pulled them for me and I was like, immediate, immediate, yes. They are men's pants um, and I got the smallest size, which is a small. So it is a little bit big on me in the waist. Um, I might get them taken in, I'm not sure, but um, I've just been wearing them with a belt or I will fold it down like, like this and wear it like that. I love 
super wide leg pants like this. They're just super flowy, they're super comfortable. I'll be wearing these for a long, long time. Wait, I did get one more shirt in Korea and it's just merch from the TXT concert. So it's just a, the, a white shirt that says Act Sweet Mirage in like holographic lettering. And it's from the TXT concert. So I did get that. I also did get one more dress in Korea, but it kind of broke already. Um, there was just like a string on the dress and the string kind of fell out. I need to fix it. So I don't really want to show it. Okay, now I will show some of the accessories I bought. Before I went on my trip, I told myself there are two things that I for sure want to buy on my trip. One was a pair of gentle monster sunglasses in Korea. And two was the Vivian Westwood armor ring. Those are the two purchases that I told myself I really wanted to make. That's like it's what I had put money aside for. Like I really want to buy those two things. Obviously, I bought a few, quite a few more things besides that, but I did get my Gentle Monster sunglasses and I did get my Vivian Westwood ring. So Gentle Monster is a sunglasses brand. They're from based in Seoul, and Jenny from Blackpink is like an ambassador, and they're known for having those like really crazy storefronts. Their stores are like galleries art galleries so i went to one of their flagship stores in seoul and i got some glasses first off like check out this case you know i love like silver and stuff so this just is just so me and these glasses i got are the bando neon 01 is the style and they have this little silver star on the side which is so me and i am i just love them so much I tried on a bunch of different glasses and these are the ones that just spoke to me. These were around between two and three hundred dollars. I don't really remember exactly how much. But what I really liked about my experience with Gentle Monster is that I bought them in the store and when I checked out, um, the associate had me like put them on and she, they had like this like glasses warmer upper thing and she pretty much like molded it to my face so that it fit me perfectly. Like she was like, no. Um, so that was cool and love them. I don't own a pair of nice sunglasses. I've never owned a pair of nice sunglasses. The ones that I wore before I got these were like $15 ones from Urban Outfitters and I wore those all the time. I'm happy to have like a pair of nice sunglasses, my first pair. Very exciting. Now let's talk about the ring. So I've always wanted the Vivian Westwood armor ring. Just you know, been on my wish list for a very long time and I know they had a ton of Vivian Westwood stores in Japan so I told myself when I go to Japan I really want to get the armor ring. But I will say it was a few dollars more in Japan than if I bought it in the US. That's fine because I, I kind of like to buy things abroad because it reminds me of the trip. Like for example, I bought this Vivian Westwood necklace when I was in Seoul in October and it reminds me of the trip and it was like 20 bucks more than what it would have been in the US, but like, whatever. It reminds me of like this experience I had and that's why I got it. I walked to this Vivian Westwood store. The sales associate was so nice. We both had like long nails with designs and so we were like kind of bonding over that. I'm so happy with this. Like, I just feel so cool. And my best friend Zoe also got one. So we have little matching Vivian Westwood armor rings, bestie rings. So that makes me very happy as well. I got a couple hair items. These, can we talk about these? These are so cute. They're Miffy hair clips. Um, I got them in Japan at Don Quixote, um, which is like this really big store. And they're just so cute. Like, a Miffy clip. And then I also got these um, like creaseless hair clips from Daiso in Korea. This was a thousand won, which is like, 70 cents for all these at urban outfitters these are so expensive <laughs> um and they're black which i like so the last hair item i got i was in japan and it was the day i was leaving and i just passed by the store and i saw this and i was like i have to get it i don't know if i'm ever gonna wear it but i have to get it because it just it's just me it's a sword hairpin like you know you put it like in a bun like this and it's a sword it's like the most me thing like hello i kind of wish i got two so that, like i could do like a you know the x with them but this was like 20 bucks and 
I was, I don't even know if I'm going to wear this. So I was like, why would I get two if I'm not even sure if I'm going to wear one. So I just got one because I never wear my hair in buns. So I don't know when I'm ever going to wear this, but I just had to get it in case I do wear a bun one day. But I just thought this was so cool. And I just got it at some random like street store in Ginza. <sighs> Which is very cool. And then, yeah, that is everything I bought on my trip to Korea and Japan. All the clothes and accessories, not all the souvenirs and toys. That's a whole other story. And I'm very happy with pretty much every single thing I got. Like, I don't think I regret buying a single thing. Um, I chose well. I chose well. And I'm excited to wear all these clothes and style them. And yeah. Thank you so much for watching my video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I post on there way more frequently, I'm trying to be consistent. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate everyone who watches my videos, and I hope you have an amazing day.